Hello, my darlings, and welcome to my Spell Oil series. Today, I'm going to share my recipe for Come To Me Oil. This spell oil is used for attraction. It will draw love, passion, and relationships. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I share recipes for 12 very popular spell oils. If you're interested in more oil recipes, please check out those other videos. I'll link to them below. You can also watch a video in which I create a Book of Shadows page for each of the spell oils in this series. And if you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I put this printable label sheet on my Patreon as well. This sheet includes a label for each of the 12 oils in my series. You can print it on label paper or print it on regular paper and glue, tape, or decoupage it onto your master bottle. If you'd like to download a PDF of the label sheet, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. Spell oils are also called conjure oils and they're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and root work. Their uses are as varied as the people who make them. Come to me oil is an attraction oil. Most people use it to draw love, self-love, or relationships. However, it can be used creatively to draw other things into your life. Be very clear about your intentions when using this oil and carefully visualize what you want to draw into your life. Before I talk about each ingredient and what it adds to the oil, I feel like I should say that this is my personal Come To Me Oil blend. You can find many recipes for this oil in books and online. The ingredients will always differ slightly. When making your own Come To Me Oil, you should incorporate the ingredients that you have on hand and that provide the effects that you want in your oil. As always, my tutorials should only be a starting point for you to develop your own craft. I encourage you to use what feels right for you and what you have access to. There's no need to buy expensive herbs or spices unless you want to. You can use any bottle you have on hand for your spell oil. I chose this tall thin bottle, but one with a wide opening can be a bit easier to add herbs into. This is called the master bottle. All of the ingredients are mixed into this bottle. I usually start with the dry ingredients, then add essential oils, and finally add the carrier oil. But you can do this the opposite way if you prefer to start with the main oil. In my Come To Me Oil blend, I use catnip because it's a powerful plant to draw things to you. It's used in love sachets, usually in conjunction with rose petals. Grown near your home or hung over your door, catnip can attract good spirits and great luck. Catnip is also used in spells designed to enhance beauty and happiness. Patchouli is most often used in love, lust, and fertility magic. Although it's a powerful money attractor too, it is an attracting herb. Patchouli is a well-known aphrodisiac and is often incorporated into lust and love spells. Adorn your body with patchouli oil to attract a lover. Patchouli has a deep, musky scent. In fact, another option as a substitution for patchouli is musk. I'm adding both ground cinnamon as well as the cinnamon stick to my master bottle. This woody spice is associated with love. Cinnamon is perhaps the most widely used herb in spellcrafting. Cinnamon can be added to any spell to help it act more quickly or to simply give it a little extra boost. Down through the ages, roses have been associated with love. Other substitutions or additions for love drawing flowers 
are honeysuckle and gardenia. The rose I'm using in this oil was gifted to me by someone special. If you have some dried roses that are meaningful to you, they can add some extra magic to your working. I've added my dry ingredients to the master bottle so far, and now is the time I add my essential oils. You can always substitute essential oils for dried herbs or vice versa. Use whatever you have on hand. I decided to add patchouli essential oil to add a boost of musky scent and boost my patchouli herbs. And I added some additional rose magic with some essential oils as well. With all of the dry ingredients and essential oils in the master bottle, it's time to fill the rest of the bottle with the carrier oil. The carrier oil I'm using is sweet almond oil. However, you could also use olive oil or any carrier oil that you have on hand. Once the master bottle is full, allow the herbs to steep inside for three or four weeks, shaking occasionally to mix them. At this point, once it's infused for a few weeks, your Come To Me oil will have a sweet floral and musky scent. Once the oil has steeped, you can strain the herbs out of the oil using a cheesecloth lined strainer, if that's your preference. I like to leave my herbs inside the oil. Keep the bottle tightly closed and store it in a cool place. This way it can last from up to a year to 18 months. There are a number of ways that you can use Come To Me oil. The most common ways to use this oil is to apply it to your body or put it in a ritual bath, as long as you're not sensitive or allergic to any of the ingredients. You can also use it to anoint a petition or a candle. This oil is also great for self-love and all matters of the heart. When using Come To Me oil, be very clear about your intentions and carefully visualize what you want to draw into your life. Remember that the herbal correspondences I've chosen are all based on my personal oil recipe. You don't need to use as many herbs as I do, and you can personalize your oil ingredients to focus on what's important to you. If you decide to make Come To Me oil, I hope that this video has given you some ideas for ingredients and that you attract the results that you desire.